What's up fellow hackers? In this video I will show you the interpretation tab of the Universal Radio Hacker. The goal of the interpretation phase is to get the bits out of the received sine waves. In this video you learn how the Universal Radio Hacker assists you with this task. You see that I already loaded a signal into the main application which we want to investigate in this demonstration. First of all, let's see what we can do with this signal. The Universal Radio Hacker comes with a powerful component for editing raw signals like this, which I will demonstrate right now. First, you can see I can zoom into the signal and get a better idea what's going on. Second, I have several options for editing certain parts of a signal by selecting a part and for example delete this selection or I can select a greater part of the signal and crop the signal to this selection to eliminate pauses between and after the signal or what I will show finally is I can create a new signal from a selection so let's create a new signal from this choosing create signal from selection and as you can see a new signal is created from this selection let's close this newly created signal as we don't need it and now let's bring the bits into the game I will show the bits using this checkbox and you can see I get a direct preview of the demodulated bits from the software. You can control the demodulation of the signal using these four demodulation parameters. For example, you can skip certain areas of the signal if you increase the noise. So let's put it to a ridiculously high value like 0 0.5. And you see now nearly everything is considered as, as noise and we got no bits left. So let's get it to 0 0.1. You see now most of it is considered as noise, but we got a little bit signal left. So let's put it back to a realistic value like this to get back the original signal. As you see, the noise which you entered is marked by a red bar inside the drawn signal. You can switch to the demulated view of the signal using this com uh, combo box. Let's do it. And zoom a bit inside. Get rid of the selection. And as you can see here we got a fine rectangular signal and can move the center which separates the ones from the zeros just by selecting it and you see the center is updated. I can also update it by entering a value here. So let's put it quite high. Then you see we got nothing left because everything is considered a zero. So let's get it back to this value. Maybe move it a bit down and have the right protocol again. With the bit length you can fine tune how long a single piece of information which is a bit um, is in terms of the sine wave. Um, you can find that out by maybe we first scale this a bit up, get a better impression of this and then you can select such a pulse which in this case is something round about 42 samples which I already entered here. If I put this value, for example, to 80, I have half of the bits left. So let's put it back to 42, which is a very good answer. And finally, with the error tolerance, you can work against transmission errors or demodulation errors to make the whole process more tolerant. In this case, this is an amplitude shift keying modulated signal, which we can verify by looking at the signal. You see um, 
when there is a binary one the amplitude gets high if there is a zero the amplitude just gets to zero just for demonstration let's load the frequency modulated signal like this i will zoom into this and as you can see here the information is modulated into the frequency of the carrier which we can verify like here where the sine wave oscillates much faster than for example here so here the modulation is set to frequency shift keying if i set it for example to phase shift keying you see that i get a quite um, faulty protocol so let's put it back and close the signal for now now a very cool feature of the universal radio hacker is that it keeps the bits in sync to the sine wave which i will demonstrate right now if i select these four bits i can for example zoom to the bits zoom again a bit out and as you notice the selection which i make down here also synchronizes to the signal above i can also do this vice versa select this and you see the bits are selected here so far we have demodulated a signal and got the raw bits out of it the next step is to reveal the logic of the protocol which is done in the analysis phase if you want to learn more about this phase make sure you check out the next video so long happy hacking